Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania Chronicles. In the last episode, we cleared out the first stage and killed a bat. In this episode, we're gonna kill more th we're gonna travel through these caves and destroy whatever is in our way. And not a whole lot of what we're gonna do because of uh how this game is structured. And as we got some green snot, or whatever this is. Ouch. I didn't see that bat there. Whatever. Guess I was supposed to just know. Yeah, let's move along. I oh, know that green stuff gave me some changeling vibes. Alrighty, make your way across these stalactites. Watch out for the bats and the spikes here because they're all over the place. Stop time just to, you know, not die. Yeah, that's how it's done. That little jerk. How dare he try to stop us in our crusade of death. I feel like the game is too loud, but I know it isn't. Because you don't listen to it on playback. You're like, oh, that wasn't so bad. Alright, watch out for those green goblin dudes. If you've been looking in the background, you'll notice they fly to the left or right. And that'll tell you what side they're gonna come from. They'll fly to you, then stop. And if you give them too much time, they'll fly at you and stab you. So don't let them do that. Ah, get away. Now this is power isn't as broken as I made it out to be in the first episode. It's only useful for the first two or three bosses, I think. And that's it. Now let's wait a moment for that dagger to disappear. There we go. Right, watch out, we should have one more volley of these green dudes. And taken care of. Ooh, five heart. Five hearts are another use of the stopwatch. It takes five hearts to use, by the way. If you haven't noticed by now. Whoa, that was close. I know one of these bats come at us. There he is. Ah! And I got hit anyway. Oh, well, only one point of damage. Big deal. Well, we're coming up on the part in the game where we'll start taking more than one point. Ow. Thank you. How dare you hit me with your fireballs. I don't like that. Alright, we have a secret over here. It's actually a sort of merchant dude. We don't want none of that. Give us more. No! Ooh, look at all that. You have to hit what you want, but it's pointless. I don't know if he gives anything else beyond that, but... It'd be nice if he dropped some meat. I'm a little hurt, but I'll be fine. Alright, let's head over to the right, but watch out, there's a bat. Alright, duck, or you'll be pushed into the water and killed. Alright, smack that open, and let's make our way up here. Smack the statue, and it'll start flooding the room. Now, if you don't have the stopwatch, a bunch of mermen will come and attack us. Good thing I do. So let's make this really easy. Stop! You violated the law! I want to save at least two of these or three of these for the boss. So we can have an easy time with him. Just sit in the middle, you'll be okay. You might get hit, though. Alright, we're good. We did it without getting a scratch. Alright, be ready. As soon as you come up here, jump. And don't hit any of these candles or you'll lose your stopwatch. I think to a dagger weapon, too, of all things. Anyways, we have a boss. It's that thing we ran across through the stage. Isn't that something? Foreshadowing. No, I don't like you. And dead. That was easy. Anyways, with that, guys, we're going to call it an episode. So stay tuned for more Let's Play Castlevania Chronicles. Yeah, I'm sorry for the short episodes, but I guess it's a bit of a breather compared to the 15-20 minutes. Anyway, see you guys next time on Castlevania Chronicles.